Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to start this video off today like that because I don't know where I'm posting this or if I'm posting in both places. So, hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is a coffee chat. I usually keep these for the last couple of years exclusively to my vlog channel, but I just have some things we need to talk about, and I think they're kind of important that everybody needs to hear. I hopefully you will watch this video. Um, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, so I wanted to share this portion of the journey with you as well. So, good morning. First, grab yourself a cup of coffee. If you drink coffee, tea, hot chocolate, booze, wine, I don't care. Grab a drink and have a seat. <laughs> I think I've mentioned it, no, I know I've mentioned it before, as I've mentioned in the past. I have uh, a type, type 2 diabetes. I have been managing with oral medication since 2010, so that's just 10 years and one month and 20 days um, since I was first diagnosed. I actually believe in my heart from the the things that the doctors, the clues that the doctors told me that they found that I really have had it since about 2006, uh, summer of 2006. But I was a, basically was a caretaker, wasn't taking care of myself. Now we know, put on your oxygen mask before. Well, now I know. You guys might have known this the whole time, but now I know you need to put on your oxygen mask before you can help others. But at the time, I did it. <laughs> it was just, you know, take care of everybody, you know, kind of thing. And then, like, once my dad passed away, I said, all right, it's time to take care of myself. And I did, uh, like, a few self-care type things and, and I that's when I went to the doctor and discovered this um got this diagnosis okay for one of the major um oh my gosh side effects it's not even this it's not a side effect one of the major effects of having type 2 diabetes is you can have vision issues you can have circulatory issues. You can have, um, oh gosh, neuropathy, like nerve issues. So you can have like neuropathy or you can have like heart conditions or limb loss and that kind of thing. And then um, you can also like go blind. Like these are the major things. Obviously there's a lot of things. It affects your kidneys. It affects so many things. Um, which is why we try so hard to keep been under control, you know, don't let it get, whatever. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that. But what the problem that I was having was, I'm also, I just turned 50. I know I don't look it. I just turned 50 and I was getting older and my eyes were getting like, okay, readers, I need 1.25s and 1.5s and 1.75s and so on and so on. So, um, when I first got diagnosed, I went to the eye doctor and, you know, everything was wonderful, but that was 10 years ago. And then there was a lot happening in life and, you know, I just didn't go back. I didn't really, didn't really need to, like my vision didn't, I didn't start wearing the readers, I guess about five years ago. The only time I ever used magnifying glasses was when I was beading. I felt that Whenever I do see beads, it was really hard to see. The, but I think that that's a lot of people. <laughs> I don't think that really is exclusive to me. But anyway, so I, uh, you know, as I age progression, my eyes get worse. Da, da, da. Well, the story goes in October, I woke up one morning to like these big floater blocks. So there's like this, I call it a tick because that's what it looked like. It looked like an oval with little tiny legs. Look like a tick with a thousand legs. 
um, that was in this eye in this direction. I'm showing you like this for a reason. And then I had what I call a paramecium. If you don't remember, that's the one that looks like a foot from biology class. <laughs> and I had that in the same direction. I'm sorry, in the same direction um, in this eye. And it had a lot less feet, but it did have lots of feet all over it. Um, and then I said, oh, well, I, of course, like an American in the United States, jumped onto Google to see what it could be. <laughs> so, um, last October, the channel was growing, 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 and we had plans for our future with this growing channel. Jim and I had plans for our future with this growing channel. So we had a plan that I would, um, February, get through the Christmas season with the DIYs and channel and stuff. And then in February, we would uh, make an appointment to go see the eye doctor and find out about these big, not February, January, actually. No, February. It's February. That's what we said. Um, we would go to the eye doctor and make appointment about these floaters. I was, I'm able to function with the floaters the, 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 from, from October to end of February. It was, it was fine. They weren't bothering me. They only were there like, um, when I woke up first thing in the morning or if I closed my eyes real tight and opened them, you can see them. They do distort. They were distorting, uh, fine details, but not anything detrimental, anything. I was still able to work, um, Okay, um, then about February, I started to get like this like twisting in the middle of my vision. And um, then I started to lose major details of people's faces and stuff at certain distances. So I could be sitting right in front of you and I could kind of work it out. But a lot of times I'm coming to find out that your mind puts together what you remember it looking like kind of thing as opposed to what it actually looks like. Um, and I know if you're going through this, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but if you don't, let me explain. So if I could look over at my calendar, if I look straight at the middle of the calendar, which would be the 15th-ish, because um, literally that's where the middle of the calendar is this month. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So if I look over at the middle of the calendar and it's the 15th and I look at the 15th, I can't see the 15th, but I know it's July and I like, I can peripherally out of, and not out of the sides of my eyes necessarily, but not the center vision, but like around it, I could see the 14th and the 16th and I can make out a one possibly. So my mind is putting together that it's the 15th. That's what I'm saying. The only time that this really doesn't work is when I really can't recognize like yesterday there was an actor in a tv show and I didn't recognize him and I couldn't see him clearly enough the way you would recognize somebody like I had to look it up on the internet of who it was and then be like oh because he was like he wasn't somebody famous looking he just looked familiar kind of thing so anyhow um so last Wednesday, the 22nd, uh, we were just getting ready to head back to Texas on Friday. So uh, my party, my, my, my family left on the 15th. Um, Lisa and I made plans to um, just like hang out here. Uh, we went to visit Aunt Sue and help her out with some stuff. And um, we made plans to do that for Thursday. I made an eye doctor appointment on Wednesday because as I've mentioned before as well, um, those of you who don't know, we had a lot of issues with our insurance this year. Um, the government required so much more paperwork um, and then we uh, put in all our paperwork and there was this whole big issue and I have a vlog on that if you're interested. Um, I will try to remember to link it in the description box down below. Otherwise, it's in my vlog channel. Um, 
but we had a lot of insurance issues. Well, I just had got my insurance back. My sister Jane was here. So on the 10th of July, I got my insurance back. So I was like, okay, immediately call the, even in the middle of a party, call the eye doctor. When can he see me? They got me in on the 22nd, which isn't bad. It's only like, that's it's like, well, actually I take that back. They had nothing the next week and the next week, the following week I could have had like uh, Monday, but with Jim's schedule, Wednesday was the day I could have the car. That's really what it came to. Um, so I got in to see the eye doctor on Wednesday. It was worse than I thought it was gonna be. Now I know that this was 10 minutes of talking to get you to this point. So if you're just joining me because I've said 10 minutes, fast forward for 10 minutes, then hi. <laughs> I was just telling them how I got there. So when I went to see the doctor on Monday, he did like, they did a, I really thought he called it a CAT scan, but he just took a scan um, from like a cross section of the back of my eye, as well as um, like a scan from the top down. He also did like the tests, you know, he, they did all the tests. They did the puff test and the, and the air test, like all the things, they did all that. So um, they dilated my eyes and it was really funny because I don't think I've ever had that done before. And he put the drop, she put the drops in and <laughs> um, it was the, you know, like they keep the room dark because it's the eye doctor. <laughs> but I, you know, like if you ever, ever had your eyes dilated, it's pretty funny because all of a sudden, the slowly the lights come on the dimmer switch is lifted up and it's not really what happens it's just when your eyes are dilated they open up and they allow more light to come in so it seems much brighter in there basically you have eyes like an owl for a little while which is good <laughs> um so with my eyes uh dilated they do this thing where they put the light across and he was like, look at my ear and he did all this and look up and look down, left, left and right. And then when he got to this, this eye and he was like, look that way. And I was looking that way and he came across the light. When he got about here, it was in, I was in so much pain. Like, I really didn't expect that really, to be honest with you. Um, but that isn't even like, we didn't even address that yet. I have two family members with macular degeneration and I wanted to make sure that that was not something that I had. So he said, can't even see it right now because it's all of this stuff. So here's what I've got. <laughs> you ready? I've got, uh, um, I've got macular hemorrhaging. I've got uh, macular edema. I've got, uh, but my retina is separating. Um, just to like, the macular is like basically, basically the back of your eyeball is all covered. My back of my eyeball is all covered in blood. How I described it, and I actually have like, not a visual aid, but I will show you, is when he showed me the cross section of my eyeball. Okay. <laughs> we'll have a demonstration. He showed me the back of my eyeball like this. And he said, this is supposed to actually dip down, but I have something that's making it dip up. So I have the bottom, the back of my eye, my, where my retina is, actually has a bubble here. And I could see on the image, there was a white line and then a black line and then a white line that went like this. So it made the black line look like a thin black line with a big, thick black bubble in the middle. So he said, this is the bleeding. So my left eye, the top white line looks almost like it's disconnected at the top of the bubble, but the right eye, it looks like it's a complete white line going over the bubble. So he said, the black line is the edema. The white line that's perfectly, not perfectly, but round on the bottom is supposed to dip down. And I said, so, the white line on top is supposed to be like dipped down to and he goes yeah and then i said well how thick is that black line supposed to be and he said that black line is not supposed to be there 
So basically, it's like I'm I'm detaching. So it looks it should have looked like this, and now it looks like like that. And wherever you see that space, oh wow, it looked so much easier. It looks so much better from my perspective. <laughs> I try a whole hand. It it should look like this, but now it looks like this. Um, so it's 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 like there's blood and whatever so then he took showed me a picture from the top down and you could see it better it was a color image this one the other one looked almost like an x-ray so this was a color image and you could see the difference between like all of the arteries or capillaries or whatever it is you could see them in color and you could see that they're not really supposed to be there and you could see um the just the things that are going wrong basically let's put it that way so he immediately wanted me to go to a specialist a retina specialist so originally we were driving or i was driving to texas on friday lisa was here i thank god because i mean i i know you guys know i have I, you know, I love God, but he sometimes, well, he always has his hand in our lives, but sometimes it's really obvious. So we were supposed to leave on Friday and I got this diagnosis on Wednesday that the doctor in the specialist could see me on Monday. There was a lot of things that actually made it feel like God had his hand in there because he said, or she said, she made her made my appointment. She said, I'm going to get you into this one doctor who comes to Rolla. Um, you'll have to see him in Columbia for your first appointment, but you could do all your follow-ups here in Rolla. Well, he didn't take my insurance. So she went and found somebody who did take my insurance and it was basically the best of the best. And she said, or in her opinion, so she said, if I was going to get this done, I would want to be with this guy. So I was like, that's great. But it's up in Columbia by the hospital, the Mizzou, Missouri, uh, the, the college there, the university hospital. So um, I, of course, got immediately disappointed that we couldn't just go. But I also feel like I am... I don't want to say resolved grateful um but i was you know i i knew that this is something that i need to do so first of course i wanted to talk to lisa if she needed to go home i would get her home if i got her home i didn't know how i was going to get back and forth to columbia i might have to stay over because i could drive up there but then i probably wouldn't be able to drive home drive home with my um with my eyes dilated so i said you know they have like a like they have like a hospital shuttle which I probably could take to like a hotel or whatever and stay over. Um, but she's like absolutely not. She's like I'll just stay. And I felt really bad because her kids miss her and she misses her grandbabies and so do I though. But it's different. <laughs> but I felt bad. Um, and then of course it takes a second for you to realize like I'm nervous. Like of course nobody wants. Nobody wants a diagnosis of, of like, it's worse than you thought type of thing. Obviously, it's not the worst thing that could ever happen because, you know, that would be like premature death. But, <laughs> um, but that being said, um, I was grateful that she was here. I'm grateful that she just offered to stay until I can get to the doctor on Monday. So she's taking me today. Today is Monday. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't mention that. We have an appointment this afternoon. Columbia is about an hour and a half to two hours away, depending on the traffic. It's a, for most of the trip, well, the trip up to Jeff City, it is just a one lane in each direction type of road. And really you're left up to, you know, tractors sometimes and you know trucks and stuff so um then uh 
so it could be two hours we're late we're definitely going to leave with more time plus i want to be there at least 30 minutes early because it's a new appointment you know you have to fill out paperwork and stuff so um but jim and lisa talked and decided that i probably or jim asked lisa i think that was really what it was if i could like not drive anywhere for the remainder until my appointment um, he didn't want me to put more strain on my eyes. So I don't know if you noticed in my comment section, I'm hardly there. It is very, very difficult for me to read the comments on my devices because I cannot zoom in or make the fonts any bigger. And what I'm having to do then is use magnifying glasses with a magnifying glass. And really concentrating light into my eyes like that is really not a good idea ever never mind at this point um i needed this to be on this channel because i don't know what the future holds now my pre-party preparation videos went up started last night um, tonight as well. Well, I don't know exactly when you're going to see this, but, uh, for the Saturday video, I mean the Monday video and the Tuesday video, which are Sunday night and Monday night, um, they're already posted, they're already scheduled. Um, I don't know when you'll see this or if I'm going to add a results video to the end of it, but I wanted to, I've always tried to be full disclosure with you guys, and I just wanted to continue to do that. I have hopes. I bought all these stuff to do DIYs because I have hopes. I bought all these things back in December before I started to have eye strain in general, and I had hopes. So um, I'm not giving up hope or <laughs> whatever. But, um, but I don't know what the future holds. So I'm I'm filming this in preparation for um, what might happen. You know, just you have to, you know, you have an emergency preparedness kit. You may not ever be affected by a tornado, but hey, you still have an emergency preparedness kit just in case. Um, so the other thing that the universe spoke to us about was that Friday when we were supposed to drive home was when the tropical storm was supposed to hit landfall and get like a ton of rain up pretty much would have been most of our trip. Um, so that was kind of like, hey, God got your back because you didn't have to go through that. So it was just a lot of things like that. Um, you know, he had a plan. He has a plan for us. We need to have faith and listen. If the plan is not what my plan is, I will do whatever I can. I will continue to do whatever I can. Um, I will continue to ask for help if I need it. Hopefully the help will be there when I do. So I love you all. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. It, it just makes me feel so loved and special that you join me on this journey and you're interested in what I have to teach and you're interested in seeing what I have to create. Um, I'm excited to share with you the rest of my party DIYs. I am going to try to get as many edited before I go to my doctor's appointment, but that may just be one or two because it's already 930. So. I have to leave in like three hours. They do take a long time. I was actually working very hard this weekend. And I said to Lisa, I'm like, people don't really know how hard YouTube is. <laughs> there is a reason that people only do DIY videos three times a week. Because they take a long time. So, um, I am excited for all of the autumn stuff that I found. I had so many ideas in my head that I just wanted to get down. And I was kind of like, do I go in and edit or do I go in and craft? Because 
I'll be hopefully optimistic and say, maybe after this appointment, my vision will get better and I'll be able to craft better. If that makes any sense. So that's what I'm hoping for. But I wanted to come on here and tell you everybody, everybody what's going on and to thank everybody for all of their love and support. And I know deep in my heart that many, many, most of you will continue to support me no matter what. So, well, the important ones will anyway. <laughs> um, and as always, you guys take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, everybody. I'm coming to you with my old lady wraparound glasses on. Um, I wanted to just jump on here to tell you that it's Tuesday morning. Everything went as well as expected yesterday. I actually got injections in both my eyes, except I moved the right one. So it is um, got like a blood pool in the eyeball over here, which I wanted to show pictures, but I wanted to give you fair warning to like not look. <laughs> but um, the thing is, is that, um, and I'll, and I'll definitely like warning before I put any pictures up. I don't know. Maybe I'll share them to Instagram. Maybe just head over to the Instagram and see how gross. Um, but what I'm actually experiencing right now is a lot of discomfort. They put these numbing drops um, in your eyes that say, that say that they can cause like um, what somebody said. One of the ladies described as graininess. Um, but basically they just feel like your I feels like for me that my inside of my eyelids are made out of sandpaper. So every time I blink, um, it's very uncomfortable. Um, it's a lot of tearing using uh, artificial tears, which is funny because it's tearing, but I'm using artificial tears. The artificial tears are helping with the lubrication, but they don't last the, 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 the comfort that they serve, that they give does not last very long. So, um, but I want to let you know, I'm so grateful that Lisa is here. Um, we look like we're ready to go to uh, Texas on Thursday. Um, so I don't know what all um, I will be able to accomplish. I'm not really looking at my phone right now um, because of screens and the screen time is, it's, it's also irritating. Um, but the doctor made a joke. It said, I'm so sorry. The doctor made a joke and said that I shouldn't lift anything. So, uh, no laundry, no vacuuming, um, no house key, no house cleaning for 40 years. <laughs> and I was like, could you go out and tell my husband? <laughs> but, um, I've been trying to take it easy. I did make myself breakfast. I actually had a protein shake. When I first woke, well, not first woke up. My water was first done at like six, and then um, around eight o'clock, I made an omelet um, just to have like full-on protein. I'm thinking that I really need to go to um, a keto diet or a very, very extremely low-carb diet from now on. So um, I know we'll talk about it more in the future, but I want to give you this update real quick. Um, and if you, um, don't like gross eye pictures, then stop the video now. If you do like gross eye pictures, hang on. Plenty will be coming for you. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.
Okay. Uh, hold on. I have to cover the the screen. I don't know that I'm going to be able to see what I'm doing, but I can't hold my eyes open. That causes a little bit of eye strain, um, the muscles and stuff. But I have to go for injections once a month for the for three months, which I did the first ones yesterday, and I have to go back in a month. So, um, but he said I should be able to drive no problem after t 24 hours, which will be this afternoon. I hopefully it'll clear up more because I'm really not not comfortable. Let's put it that way. Um, I know next time when I go to get the injections of what to do to not move my eye. Um, he actually was doing, did this eye, did this eye first and told me to look down over here. And it was really difficult because there was nothing to focus on. So uh, when he went to go put his hand by me, my eye automatically went this way. Um, but when he went to do this eye and he crossed his hand over, I was able to focus on his thumb and it was very easy. He's like, you did much better with that eye. I was like, yeah, it's something to look at. So he's like, yeah, maybe we should put targets in the room. <laughs> no, just targets. Just next time I just know I'll put my hand down here and focus on it instead of just uh, trying to find something, like trying to go to a dead spot in the air. So that's it. I love you guys. I'll keep you updated.